In this tutorial video, we're going to go through how to edit, duplicate, delete and recalculate toolpaths. So in this example, you can see here that we have a simple profile toolpath around a square vector. So the first option we're going to look at is how to edit the toolpath once you have it created. So there is a couple of different ways you can go back into the toolpath to edit it. So you can either double click on the toolpath in the toolpath list, which will open the toolpath settings back up. If I close this and then I can show you the other option, which will be to right click on the toolpath and select the edit option here. Again, this will also bring up the toolpath settings for this toolpath. So let's say, for example, we need to, instead of cutting part way through the material for this cut, we have decided we need to now cut all the way through the material. So we need to change the depth of this to 0 0.5 inches instead. We would then need to select calculate again to save these new toolpath settings. And now if we click back in, you can see now that these settings have changed. So I'm going to close this. So the next option we're going to look at is to duplicate the toolpath. So if you want to duplicate the toolpath, you can right click on the toolpath in the toolpath list and select the duplicate option here, which will create a duplicate of that toolpath. Now for this, we don't really need the duplicate toolpath. So now we're going to go through the options you would have to delete a toolpath. You can either click on the toolpath you would like to delete in the toolpath list and use the delete option on the keyboard, or you can right click on the toolpath in the toolpath list and you'll see a delete option here. This has a few options as well. So you can either have the delete this option, which will delete the toolpath selected, the delete all invisible option, which will delete any toolpaths that are invisible in the toolpaths tab, the delete all visible option, which will delete all visible toolpaths in the toolpaths list, and the delete all option, which will delete all the toolpaths from the file. So for this option, I'm going to select the delete this, which you can see has removed the duplicate toolpath we created. We are now going to look at the options for recalculating the toolpaths. So if we go back over here to the 3D view and select this option so we can see the vectors in the 3D view. So let's say we're making a project, we've calculated the toolpaths and we've realized we've made this vector too small and we now need to make it a six by six square instead. So I've edited the vector and then moved it back into the center. You can now see that the toolpath that was originally created is no longer correct for the vector as we have just edited it. So we will need to recalculate the toolpath. So we have a few options to do this. We can either right click on the toolpath in the toolpath list and you'll see the recalculate option here, which also has a few options. So you have recalculate, which will just recalculate the toolpath you have selected. Recalculate visible, which will recalculate any visible toolpaths in this file and recalculate all which will recalculate all the toolpaths in the file. There is also a second option to recalculate the toolpath, which is you have the option here in the toolpath operation to recalculate all toolpaths. So I'm going to select the recalculate all toolpaths option here. You'll then see this pop up saying that all toolpaths have successfully been recalculated. So we'll click OK. And you can now see that the toolpath we had originally created has been recalculated to the new vector size and position. I hope you have found this tutorial video helpful that goes through how to edit, duplicate, delete and recalculate toolpaths.